What are you doing? Did you buy another truck? Is that what you want? Oh, no, it's not what I want. Guys, I did something bad. I think I did something real bad. And if you guys have been subscribed and following my channel, because if you're not, you should hit that subscribe button so you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I did something bad. I bought another project truck. I know I'm crazy, right? I'm crazy. But there's something different about this one. As in, I probably shouldn't have bought it. This is this truck's in horrible shape. It's a 1994 Z71 Silverado. And it is not running. It has a fuel issue. It has locked up drum brakes in the rear. Uh, the interior is kind of worn and tore apart. Smells like cigarettes. Stinks like all high heaven. Um, she's wrecked in the front end. She has had a fire underneath the hood. Throttle body. Um, yeah, got a little toasty, but she will run. If I uh, if I spray some uh, juice in there, she'll stay running. This truck is a complete turd. Rusted out, rockers, cab corners. The bed is in fairly good shape. Why? Because it's fiberglass. So you may ask, Mike, why would you buy such a crap truck? Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber. Now, granted, I paid $650 for this truck. But still, why would you pay any money for a junk truck like that? I'll give you one hint. <laughs> That's right. That's my name. Mike A. Mike Andreessen. This is my truck. And totally redeem yourself. I owned this truck 21 years ago. It was found by a friend driving down a road in a neighborhood, a town 25 miles from me. He calls me up, says, hey, Mike, I found your truck for sale. He only wants 750 bucks for it. Yeah. Well, with my awesome negotiating skills, I was able to talk him down to 650 bucks. So I stole it. Stole it. This truck was in a lot better shape when I owned it though. Uh, I was 17 years old. I was helping a buddy out after a house fire. His dad was like, hey, I'm gonna go get a new truck. I have a loan on this truck, but I'll let you float this loan. I'll float this loan for you. And uh, you, can, uh, you can take over payments. I'm like, sweet. 17 years old, what kind of opportunity you get to own a very nice truck like 1998 so the truck wasn't very old at the time so I jumped on it well after about a year and a half long story short people develop bad habits and such not me but uh needless to say the guy would not leave me alone about getting his truck back and he, was, he wanted me to uh, get my own loan it's like I can't get my own load I don't I don't know that kind of I ain't got that kind of credit yo so needless to say I got tired of it and I gave the truck back to him and I regarded it because I love this truck. I washed this truck, polished it, took care of it. It was my baby. A lot of memories in this truck in the short time that I had it. Well, you could tell in the condition it's in now, it's not a great condition. But this is what this is what the weird thing is about this truck. It has everything in it from when I was a kid. It has. The fuzz buster I installed way back when in there. I don't think it's any good now because they don't they don't use that kind of technology anymore. Obviously, you guys saw it has my dash mat in here. It has my car phone. I bought it. It was in the truck. It has my stereo disc or stereo tape deck with my 10 disc CD changer, which uh, doesn't have the insert anymore. But never mind that. It has my floor mats that I put in it. You believe that? And uh, if I can get it to go, the box right here 
That's a subwoofer. Subwoofer. And I think you might be able to see it. I don't think so, but there's an amplifier underneath there. This truck has all the goodies that I put on it. Has my Chevy stickers I put on there. Has my Calvin uh, taking a wee wee on Rusty Wallace number two back in the day. <laughs> and, uh, you know, original prime design bug deflector. It, well, only one of these survived, sun visors. But, <coughs> never mind that, I'll buff out, I'll buff out. The only thing I don't have on it is the original tires and the chrome step bars that I put on it. But working on parts, it came with a few as you can see. But how cool is that? If you guys had the opportunity to buy your first vehicle back from when you first started driving, that he had maybe, I don't know, what kind of experiences you had, would you take up the opportunity? I think it's so cool that I found this truck, even if it's in absolutely horrible condition. And Melissa, she was a little understanding about me getting the truck, and if not, I'll just put on the Andreessen Charm and I'll woo her over and we'll take care of that because it works every time, 60% of the time. 60% of the time, it works every time. This is gonna be Wyatt's first truck. He's totally excited about it. Figured it might be a good uh, good truck for him to drive back and forth. I got about two years to get it done. That doesn't make sense. But this truck sat for seven years, folks. Seven years. There's a lot of story behind the guy who bought it. His son got in some bad stuff, yada, 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 long story short. Sat for a long time, he's tired of looking at it, sold it to moi, sold it back to me. I told him, hey, I'm the guy who used to own this truck. We knew the same people. He, uh, wheel started turning in his head, he remembered me. And I think he was actually happy to sell it back to somebody who owned it before, who loved it and enjoyed it like his son did in the first couple years that he had it before uh, things took a turn for worse in his life. But besides that, we're gonna get this thing up and running. She does run. Like I said, if you put a little juice in her, she will turn over and run. Uh, she was stolen, steering columns kind of jacked up on it. Uh, she hit a fence post. She needs work. She needs lots of work. We'll go through it. We'll get it all freshened up. I'm gonna cut those rockers out and you know, we'll get all those replaced. We'll do some Bondo, Bondo in the fender in the can. We'll fix that fender up. We're gonna fill this all up with uh, Bondo, fill it in with cardboard and stuff. No, I'm just joking guys, just joking. But yeah, fenders, hood, front clip on these things, totally cheap. Rockers, cheap. Paint job, I don't know. I'm going back to the original red, maybe cheap. I don't know. So, not too bad. We'll wash the interior up. I'm not gonna fix this thing up totally nice. Like I said, that's gonna be my son's truck. You all know what teenagers do to vehicles. Just a good old boy. They tend to get hit or wreck them, or other bad things. I don't know, but we're not gonna put too much into this truck. Okay, enough about this guy. And don't worry, we're still doing Project Chuck in there. It's gonna happen. I just saw an opportunity to buy this old girl back and uh, I couldn't turn away and I couldn't see her go to the junkyard. We'll put a little work into her. We'll get her up and going. It'll be my son's first truck. We'll let him bang it all up all he wants. I'm not gonna sink too much money into it, but I'm gonna, if, I think this might have a lot of electrical problems, and if it does, we'll send it down the road. I'm not that sentimental, but I saw an opportunity to get my old truck back. I love this truck. I thought it was a great truck. It was fun. Uh, maybe uh, my uh, sentimental side got the best of me, yet to be determined. But we maintenance this guy, as you can tell, it's a little later in the day. So we maintenance this, maintenance this guy because... We're going up to the Badlands, South Dakota, go see Mount Rushmore. We're going to go on a UTV trip, so we're going to need this guy in tip-top shape. So I changed out both differential fluids, oil, and belt. So you guys will be coming along. But enough of all this mechanical stuff. I've got to show you how much damage these goats did because they mowed this stuff down and lickety-split. They are super efficient. A clear and brush and I'm gonna be using them more let's go check it out Whew. all right uh, it's a day later I saw an airplane in the sky and then I saw a squirrel. squirrel and then pretty soon I was in bed and I totally forgot that I was coming up to show you guys the goats 
But look what all they have done. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing, guys. They have just demolished all this stuff here. All the way down. A lot of cockaburs and stuff. They had in their fur. I can't believe how many cockaburs these goats had in their fur. Unbelievable. It's amazing how animals like this adapt to situations like that where they're known for getting into rubbish, brush, getting cockaburs in their in their fur and i swear they worked them all out on their own i tried brushing them out <laughs> and they weren't having it not one bit at all it was at one one time mama g oh huh, mama g her her little goatee right here it was just absolutely packed full with cockerburs and they would not let me touch them whatsoever to brush them out so it was everything i could do to help them out but they weren't having it not one iota three days later spotless you guys want a treat they absolutely love cucumbers oh yeah that's some good stuff huh maynard huh yeah oh yeah she loves these she just makes a mess out of them though <laughs> Mama G, you're dripping cucumber drool over my camera tripod. Oh my goat. Yeah. Yuck, a goat was eating on that. Oop, don't fall. You, so that's wish. what happens when you don't wear the 4x4 four four Crocs. <laughs> you gotta wear your 4x4 four four off roading Crocs. Yeah. These are just my Crocs, my normal Crocs. <laughs> that's your two wheel drive. Yeah. City driving Crocs. Yep. I know I use these for just walking around, doing all my normal stuff. Yep. You gotta get you some of them full drive Crocs. Oh my God, we're gonna take to it. They happy. Ready? Yep. Back to their spot. It's trying to eat hay. Do you want to hear the bad news? We gotta dump the water out and fill it back up. You can do that. <laughs> what? Oh, you're gonna make me do all the heavy lifting, huh? No. I give them a feet. Well, I think they missed home. Did you guys miss home? I think you did a little they bit. Did. I didn't even have to check the feed. They just ran right through. They just ran right through, and they're just gobbling it down. <laughs> well, we got some more stuff to get done before we can call it quits and head inside and eat dinner. So I'm going to let you go right here, and I'll see you on the next episode. And I appreciate you guys watching. Don't, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, people, because like I always say, it does us a lot of good, and it don't cost you nothing. Have a good night, guys.